This is Mrs. Lopez from Mountain View looking at idioms. So idioms fits under the larger umbrella of word relationships and vocabulary, and later on we will look at adages and proverbs, but for now we're going to look at the secure skill of explaining the meaning of an idiom. Idioms in the English language are phrases that we use that don't mean literally what they say. So our example down here, I know you want your notebook back, but you are barking up the wrong tree. I wasn't even here when you put it down, so I certainly do not have it. So barking up the wrong tree does not mean by any way that the person was acting like a dog and barking at a tree, but instead that they are asking the wrong person. And our second example is, wow, he sure is on the ball. He has everything ready and we just got here. So this person who has everything ready when someone just showed up does not mean that they're part of a circus and on a ball, but instead that they're just ready and prepared. When we're looking at word relationships, um, one of the things to know for idioms, proverbs, and adages are that there are many, many of them and more just that as we're reading, we should be able to kind of have a light go off in our head and say, wait a minute, that's not literally what that means. Instead, it's referring to something else. And so just exposing yourself to as many of these as possible so that you learn what they mean and can use them in context and understand when a writer includes them in a text, what they mean.